you may never have heard of the electromagnetic spectrum, but you would have heard of many parts of it and used them daily. They are all electromagnetic transverse waves that travel at the speed of light. This speed is hard to imagine, but think of it this way. Light can travel eight complete circuits of the Earth in one second. The diagram shows how their wavelength changes across the spectrum from long to short. Radio waves. These waves are used for radio and TV communication. They can travel great distances around the Earth as they are reflected off the ionosphere in the upper atmosphere. Microwaves. These are used to heat up food in your kitchen and also explain how your cell phone works. In cooking, microwaves make water molecules vibrate and so generate heat but do not penetrate the food to any extent. This means food cooks first on the outside, relying on conduction to then heat up regions deeper in the material. They will, however, easily penetrate the atmosphere and are crucial for satellite communication. Infrared. This is the first part of the spectrum that animals can detect. We sense this as heat, and indeed it is used to cook food and warm our homes when we're using radiators. TV remotes also use infrared signals, and we use this technology in heat sensing cameras. Visible. At last, the part we all use. We sense our world in full color, as this section includes all the parts which make up a rainbow. Fiber optic waveguides that carry internet communication to our homes uses visible light. Ultraviolet. Most insects can see UV light, we can't. But it does cause pale skin to tan, and so is used in sunbeds. Energy efficient fluorescent lamps emit UV, and then a fine white coating inside converts it into visible light. Most detergents use optical brighteners that convert UV into visible light to make our clothes look brighter. Exposure to UV light can cause cell damage, leading to cancers or loss of sight. X-rays and gamma rays. These are both very high energy waves which penetrate matter easily. This is used in X-ray imaging and CT scans, and both X-rays and gamma rays can be used to target and destroy tumors hidden inside our bodies. There you are. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well?